Good night, planet Earth. The problem with greetings like that is that good night is a farewell thing and not a hello thing. And I want to say hello to you guys. So, good morning. Even though it's not morning. Uh, so, I've been quite busy and have quite a bit to report on uh, after my two-week hiatus. Uh, and by hiatus, I just mean like I haven't posted a video in like two weeks. So, um, lots of exciting things happened. Um, I, on last Saturday, I did Spark, uh, which is the teaching program I do every year. Um, and I taught like six sections of special relativity. It was a lot of fun. I think that the kids got a lot out of it. <laughs> kids. I say kids like they're youngins. But really, I was in their spot not four years ago, three years ago even, I, I was, it's weird, I'm a junior now, I'm going to graduate, I don't know, it's weird, anyways, I did Spark, it was cool, then, uh, I had a meeting today with my advisor, and it looks like I will be doing a Europe, which stands, is, is you are, oh, Hopefully that comes out the right orientation. I think it should. Um, and I'm going to be doing it. It stands for Undergraduate Research Opportunity. And uh, basically you can do research with a professor here. And you can either get credit or pay for it um, and stuff. So I'm working um, with a group called the Relate Group. And uh, I'm working to... Um, help build an online physics course. Um, I'll, I, it looks like right now, it looks like I'll probably be doing some of the solutions. I'll, I'll be you know, writing the solutions onto a, a tablet uh, and uh, voicing it over. So you'll be able to like see me write almost like that. If you've seen the Khan Academy videos, kind of like that. Um, except it will be my glorious voice that will be speaking. Um, so T not tomorrow, the day after tomorrow, which should be Thursday, unless something happens and it's not Thursday. Imagine, that would be crazy. Can you imagine? Imagine if, like, it was Tuesday instead, and there was some crazy time loop that I was trapped in forever. Uh, Don't laugh. Uh, this is very serious. No. Anyways, Thursday I have an 804 exam, my first exam of the semester. 804, to remind you, is quantum mechanics. Um, and it is on uh, all the stuff we've covered so far, obviously, uh, such as wave functions. So I'm going to be sketching some, sketching some wave functions. Yeah, you like that? You like seeing those wave functions being sketched in those, those infinite potential wells and the not infinite potential wells, also called finite potential wells since they're not infinite. So negative, negative is a positive. And then uh, wave function things and energy eigenvalues and eigenfunctions and, and things and stuff and quantum and uncertainty principles and operators and commutators and, oh, and observables and Hermitian operators and things. And it's going to be fun, I hope. This is my first test of whether or not I'm actually capable of doing physics since my 803 test of me doing physics said that, no, Ryan, you cannot do physics. And of course, I heeded that warning and switched to physics. Right. So, in the meantime, the other night, I was supposed to be doing something, and I didn't feel like it. So I decided to be kind of productive. This is an interesting trick, right? You're supposed to be doing one thing, so you want to not do it. So you're like, oh, I'll do something else that's kind of productive, right? So I did... Uh, I was looking at classes for next year. So this is where you guys come in, so pay attention. You're going to have them choose your classes. Shh! Don't ruin the surprise for them. But I mean... They have no idea what's coming next. You're going to choose... Quiet! Mm -hmm. Please, just kidding. You can... Aww. What are you going to say? You... Oh, no, you're just going to have them... Cho <laughs> yeah, I'll do that. You're going to have them choose your classes for you. I want them to vote. 
So they're going to choose I, you. I'm just saying, you guys should vote on what classes I should take next year. And then he will year. completely ignore you. And no, he wants. I will take into account what you're voting is. I'm interested to see what the public opinion is, you know, of my viewers. All, almost 300 of but you. But how does the public opinion have anything to do with what you're interested in? <sighs> she really ruins the flow of the videos, don't you think? I Maybe I'll have them vote on that instead. That's That would be more interesting. That would be more interesting. Anyways... <laughs> but you thought your computer froze, but it didn't. So, uh, anyways, um, the classes I'm looking at taking. So, uh, I'm gonna next year. I'm gonna be taking my education classes, and then I'm taking uh, a HASD, which is like a humanities thing, uh, and a lab, uh, the chemistry lab for non-chem majors. Yeah, uh, and then I have like I need to take four other classes. Uh, I think one, two, dun 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 dun. That sounds right, I think. I I might not, I think I... Uh, let me see, I have this written down actually in front of me. Um, so seven classes. So minus one, two, three, four, five. So I actually only need like two classes beyond. I think, maybe, I don't know, who cares. The point is, is I, I, I'm looking at taking a few classes. So in the fall, I can take Quantum Mechanics 2, which is 805. I can take Electromagnetism 2 which is 807. Uh, and then in the spring, I can take the following. General, oh, exploring black holes, general relativity and astrophysics, which only has a prereq of special relativity, which I already took. Uh, then there is string theory for undergraduates, which has a prereq of 805, which is quantum two. Modern astrophysics, a co of 805, quantum two. General relativity, Prereq of 1803, 1806, and 18, 807. I've already taken 1803 and 1806. That's differential equations, linear algebra. 807 is electromagnetism too. Nuclear and particle physics. I don't think that has prereqs like 805. Um, so that's all of them. So basically, vote. Should I take next semester modern astrophysics? String theory for undergraduates, exploring black holes, general relativity and astrophysics, nuclear and particle physics, or general relativity. I'm going to tell you straight off the bat that if you vote for general relativity, that was probably a wasted vote because I'm probably not going to take it because smart people here have trouble with it. And if smart people here have trouble with it, I would probably have a lot of trouble with it. So probably not doing that. But nuclear and particle physics, exploring black holes, general relativity, astrophysics, strength theory for undergrads, and modern astrophysics are all up for grabs. And then, of course, what classes you decide that will determine if I take 805 or not in the fall. So let's hear what your voting is. I'm excited to hear that, and wish me luck as I study today. I mean, well, I'm basically done for today. But as I study tomorrow for my 804 exam on Thursday, because it'll be an exam, and luck is good, even though I don't believe in luck. I think I said that before. What? English. Thank you. Who is that? Liz. Oh, thanks, Liz. That's a hallmate of mine. Her name is Liz. She wished me luck on my 804 exam. Not That's some that nice you hallmate. Need it. Not that, yeah, right. Pfft, I need luck. You got skill. Right. Right. You have kind greeters. No, I. No, I doubt they're time. Imagine if I did have kind creators. That would be really nice. That would be very nice. But you're also going to just use your totally boss skills. What's your vote, Kate? What do you think I should take next year? I wasn't paying attention. That's not the first String time. theory. Okay. Cool. Uh, anyways, do you have anything you want to say? I'm going to put the camera on you. No. Sleepy, go away. Well, you heard it first here. Sleepy, go away. That's all for tonight, folks. Peace.